Crossley, and it's a record player. Oh. I thought it was a, um, I thought it was just a suitcase. on it yeah cute it's adorable it has little speakers that's awesome okay well, I don't know we're gonna set whatever we get in this shopping cart oh it's heavy it's super heavy what did you say it was Clinique brand that's a cute little bag looks like somebody dumped their house here yeah and guess what this is GameStop's dumpster by the way Get the first one out of the bar be easier. Hardbound toilet. We'll probably donate these books. I'm gonna give these to Katie's. Uh, my friend Katie has that book um, house where you put it to trade books and stuff. Oh, like a. Um, perfect for there. These are good books. I don't know if you guys ever heard of that. I know some people have commented on it. You put a little. It's like a mailbox, and you put these books in it, and then people come to her house, and she just has books out there, and they're. They're free to exchange. anybody that wants them, and they exchange. Hey, these are perfect for Katie. It's the same Katie who's a teacher. And yeah. she also has kids that she, I don't know if any of these are okay for kids to read, but I bet she, she's read all of them. But somebody's commented on that before where they have, they know about that. Ooh, this is cool. Both of those are cool. Look how thick this is. This couldn't have been cheap. This was $60. Let me see. Where is it? Right here. Oh, wow. It looks to be in excellent shape. Look at these two guys. Woohoo! Is there another if one? If you're... Well, let me see. Let me see those two. Is one like a comic book and then one's like a... This is... The good thing is this is volume one and this one says compendum one. I don't know what that this means. This was ten bucks originally. Yeah, if you're a Walking Dead fan... Nice. You would love that. Appreciate finding that. And then this one, Red Pyramid. This could definitely be kids for, she teaches junior high. Fairy this might tale. be perfect for them. And the little bag's cute. And you got a Clinique bag, man. I'm grab a, a tote. First. Okay. Steph's grabbing a tote out of the vehicle. Looks like there's gonna be a bunch of games. Man, they threw away like, like cushions for their Oops, cushions for chairs and stuff. Here, I'll go get the tote. Okay. Got some baby powder. But these books, or these games, when I walked up and saw this first, I shook it and I heard, I heard um, that there's definitely stuff in these. Let's see. I just saw, I want to buy your Lancome. That Lancome? It was a long time ago. Oh, how fun, an operation with minions. Oh, how cute. And then what are these Lego guys that are kind of broken or are these pieces? I don't know, but that's gonna be fun. It looks like the pieces and then Lego heads. <laughs> a Lego head, fun. Let's see, does it work in the battery? Okay, battery's dead. How fun. Oh, there's a little minion guys. That's a good game. Okay, let's see. I don't know if that Shopkins is in here. Okay. Teacher's plan book. Like. Yeah, it looks good in there. We'll donate that. Okay, what's this one? Zingo. Bingo with a zing. I love bingo. What's the zing? Oops. Oh, this is kids. This will be fun to play with the grandkids. They can totally play this game. Absolutely. That's fun. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be fun. Oh. Okay. Think fun. It does look fun. Yay! That's a good paint. Those are good for grandkids. Since they just four and up, that's the perfect age. Okay, Yahtzee. That's cool. Yahtzee Jr. with Buzz Lightyear. Fun. I love Yahtzee too. And it looks like the dice are in there and little chips. Yay! I'm excited. Okay. Memory 
SpongeBob memory. That's gonna be fun with the grandkids. Ages three plus, our grandkids are three and under. Perfect. Talcum powder. We were just talking about talcum powder. Baby powder separating for jewelry. something. Oh, separating jewelry, that's right. So we're gonna keep that and use that. Hmm. This might be the Lego guy that those little Lego heads were supposed to go with. So we'll put, keep that for yeah, sure. All the loose stuff I'll talk okay. Oh, here's some t some things that go with that SpongeBob came that fell out apparently. Okay. Oh, here's the rest of that Shopkins. Ooh. I think. Let me make sure you guys can see good. Oh, here's the box. The yeah, the lid, and I didn't know if it. Um, there's a little. I think that probably goes with it. Cool. So those are all in there. Shopkins. Our niece was really into Shopkins a while ago. I don't know if it's still popular, but oh my gosh, she loved it. She, that was her deal. Zingo. It's another one of these? For sight words, what was the other Zingo? It was like bingo, but oh, one more down. Bingo Zingo, and then this one is Zingo for sight words, but it doesn't say what kind. Cool, that's awesome. Cause that looks like a good little learning game. What are these? Draw a journal, fun. Spectrum math, great. These are excellent things for grandkids that are coming up to start school age pretty soon in a couple years. Yeah, we'll just give them to their mommies. They can do some homeschool and stuff. Snoopy, oh my gosh, okay. We got in Barnes and Noble dumpster, they had um, some books that they ripped up and they were little seek and find things, kind of like Where's Waldo? And they're so good at it. The boys are so good. So like, you have to look for, you know, him. And you gotta look for him in this picture. And he, they can find him fast. It was really good. They're really smarties, little smarties. What's that? TJ Maxx. What is it though? <clears throat> I have no idea. Oh, it's a jewelry stand. You put your rings in here, and then you hang your bracelets and stuff from here, and then this is watches or whatever, or watches on here. It's a jewelry stand, perfectly oh. fine. That's good. We'll wash that up a little bit. It's in here. Some trash. What's this? Inflatable? No. It's hard. Oh, is it a kid's toy? I think it's an inflatable chair that you sit in, like a lawn chair. Oh, fun. All right. What? What does it say? Summer? Huh. Inflated? And that seems like a oh, no. suffocation hazard. A <laughs> it's bath? like soft plastic. Maybe it is a bath. I don't know. What's this? Another... Yeah, that's... Is that part of it? Swim support. Swim safe. Hmm. All right. Well, that's we'll just donate that. Somebody can... They can decide if it's going to be okay or not. That looks kind of sketchy. It does look kind of sketchy, not knowing the history of it. And then we got some random shoe boxes. Okay, here's some game pieces though. I want to make sure these come out. Here's a SpongeBob piece. Don't want to lose any of those. Make sure none of these have them in there. Okay. Here's a SpongeBob piece. Oh, there's something in this. Okay, look. Let me set you guys down. Let's see what's in this bag. Oh! Wow! Nice that they left it all zipped up. Lego. This kid. Legos? Yeah, neat ones with like this neat little okay. like base. That's awesome. Let's show these. This is... Hudson's totally into Legos right now. Okay, Those so are the, cool. Uh, I wonder what the. What do you guys think that is? Like, what's the. Just a landscape little thing to make stuff on? I'm sure it went to some. Oh, maybe it was a medieval type of Lego with the dragon who can sit on there. Yeah. Is he Lego? Maybe he's not. 
Yeah, I don't see any things on his feet. I'm looking and he's for rubbery. a Lego guy. Um, see. I see one. Oh, I see an actual Lego guy right here. Here, cool. he's just a generic Lego guy. So he's up here mending. Tending to the grass. <laughs> There's a bunch of Legos. It's a base for a castle, somebody said. Oh. It looks like Minecraft. Oh. So Does it say go... Lego on it? Let's see. Look underneath. It better not be the dumpster. Okay, no, it's not. It might not be I mean, Lego then, but it snaps on Lego, guys. Look at all these. We don't know enough about Legos. Is that motorcycle for Lego? These all say Lego, so these are Lego for sure. Um, Army men, Legos. I don't know. A nice little pile. I don't know if it's Lego or Lego. <laughs> Lego my ego? Is it Lego or Lego? I call it Lego. Like a leg. I know people like to put this stuff together. This one would be, there's no instructions. Yeah, no... just for Grant Hudson. He's just going to play with those. What's this? I don't know. It's Lego brand, whatever this was. All right. And they tossed, tossed a bag of cool. Legos. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay, what else? This has something heavy in it. You want to do the honors? What? You want to do the honors? No, you don't. Okay. Just in case there's a, a needle, oh, okay, good. like a hypodermic needle or yeah, something, perfect. you better check it. Oh, it's babies. Oh. With nice underwear on. What? Good. Does it have a name on them? Nope. You know how sometimes they'll Jax have... Jax Pacific? Jax, J-A-K-K-S. Look at the eyes. Pretty. I didn't expect this to be in there. That's a, that's a creepy feeling, baby. It's like a squishy treat. one. This we could check down it. Okay. Look, easy to read. These are excellent. This is like the best little dumpster of Peep the cat. I know Hudson's into that right now. We think it's excellent because there's we have grandkids. Yeah, it's perfect. This is great. Here's another baby doll. Another naked one. Oh, are What's they related? Thing? Blue eyes and green eyes. That He's one also seems... also a Jack specific. Is that one smaller? No. Like the head They're size. Not... Oh, this one has the googly eyes. Oh. Yeah, this one's eyes don't, don't do that. You. You just drop her. Or him. That's cool. Okay, here's some books. These are squishy too. Both of them That's are squishy. Cute. Is that a finger puppet? Yeah, and this is awesome. Who doesn't want favorite fables? Those are good bedtime story books. I wonder if kids still like fables. They got like Keep some the cat. serious there he is. technology fables. James You know Dean? that? Yeah, I know from Hudson. He's been talking about Pete the Cat. I didn't know who he was, you and now I'm seeing him on Facebook. You Facebook's. think it's James Dean? Is that why you said yeah, it like that? Yeah, he's really into Like the stories. James Dean? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> are you serious? No, I'm kidding. Oh. He's been gone too long. The cuddliest oh, cuddle oh, in the world. I love it. I want a cuddliest cuddle with yeah. a kitty. You never see them cuddling a deer. What's this? Adventures of. A puppy. Oh, they look easy to read. Perfect. Yeah, this are is nice. awesome. These are nice though. Man, I might have to break out another tote. You might have to. This looks like a little jackpot of toys. Another dolly. Another dolly. Somebody just Let me threw Let's see what these eyes away. do. Oh, the eyes Everything's don't. Everything's nice and clean, though. Really clean. The eyes Build don't it. lie. Surprise pop-ups. Yes. Oh. Mr. Brown can moo, can you? Dr. Seuss? Mm -hmm. Okay. Here, have some mustard. Or whatever that is. <laughs> There's a pair of headphones in here. Look at the here. feet on these things. Here's a little Easter. Well, oh, this oh, one is a, real? This one is and not a... He's wiggling, look. Oh yes, tell us we're going. Do it again. Let him. I can't see the tail. His head's moving oh, too. Oh, they're both moving. Aww. This doll here is a king. That's cool. King state. Let me see if you guys can see it. Can you guys see that king's? Here's Moroccan oil for a king blow state. King state. Okay. Here's some Moroccan oil. Oh. Okay, king state okay. doll and some Moroccan oil. I gotta. Let me take that tote and grab another one. This is when the totes come in handy, guys. You don't want to get them too heavy, though. Keep looking. Oh, by the way, let's see your shirt. 
Natalie. Thanks, Natalie. I don't know if they could see it because of the sun. Here, turn this way. Where is Here, yeah, this way. There. I love dumpster diving. Oh, Put this so cute. Up. Okay, one tote. Okay, one oh of our. Oh my goodness. She's got it. One of our friends. Ooh, this might be more toys. Friends, Natalie, in Australia, sent us these shirts and another set of shirts, and they're so cute. They fit great. They're adorable. Oh, a water painting doodle mat. Hmm. Well, that'll be fun. A bunch of balls. Oops, I'm losing them. Okay, I'll just grab that. We could take that straight to donate. What are these curtains? I think these are curtains or tablecloths. Bunch of them. Um, I don't know. Do I need any curtains? Let me sniff them. Not for my windows, but I mean, just for fabric. Um, they look nice and clean. I might grab them and then just donate or... Yeah, we both might have, might have to carry this stone. Okay. There is something else in this one over here. Even though I don't, I'm not interested in this. I grabbed another tote, guys. We got like four of them. And that. they really do come in handy on dives like this one. What is that? Easter. A duck. This must be leftovers from Easter. That little box was cute. That's adorable. Did you see the inside? Yeah, it's peeked in there. Look. That's fun. That is fun. Cute. I'm oh, sorry for shaking, guys. Oh, silly Claire, thank you very much. Caught us live hugs and coffee and science and Aww. treats from Liverpool. Wow, thank you. South of the river, yeah. The aren't bad. Liverpool. Isn't that where the Beatles originally came from? Them boys from Liverpool. That's broken. That wasn't an egg. Man, this is... It really does look like they just threw their house in here. That's adorable. What's up, Karen from Northern Ireland? That? Yep. Which channel are you on? Resale Killers. Okay. Oh. Yeah, they got rid of all their Easter stuff as well. Is Easter even here We yet? got... Uh, oh, Oh, when's That's Easter? Weird. It's coming up. Victoria from the Philippines. Tony. Tony Ann from Pittsburgh. Ooh, what is this? It's the inside of like a hanging garment bag. Oh, for your put a suit or something in there? Yeah. Maybe England's in the house with Elaine. Okay, everybody's Ooh. saying it's not yet. It's in April. It's a fiesta pot, fiesta wear. Nothing wrong with Why that. do I know it Fiesta wear? It's expensive. Like Did it's... we sell that before? Um, we've sold oh yeah, we sold. Of it, but... We sold those fancy colored bowls. Oh, and knives. And knives. Yeah. Yeah, this is good stuff. Yeah, Fiesta wear like is good. So we did on a, a video that hasn't aired yet. We found a bunch of totes, and looks like we're going to be using them. Yeah. Is that chocolates? St. Patrick's Day doodads. Oh, a bunch of them. Oh, it's not chocolate. It's actually a gold coin. What's this? That's Aww. a fancy rabbit, man. It is. It's cute. It's an Easter rabbit, and Easter's not and even she's here cute yet. And she's clean. What's happened Aww. to you? Why is she getting rid of her Easter stuff? Yeah. What did this thing do to deter deserve being in the dumpster? This one too. He's Another got rabbit. Beanbag arms and legs. I'm glad we came here right now. Hi, Elizabeth. Is that Hinman? Hinman or Heinman? Thank you very much, Elizabeth. That's very kind of you. Easter galore. Why did they throw the Easter when it's right around Just the corner? Just to put your rings in while you wash your hands. Yep. Or, um... It looks like this will be a, an Easter tote yeah. right here. What else? Why throw a Easter away? Another one of these. Have you guys, um... Oops. Like this dumpster is notorious for this, for it people throwing personal items away. Lots of these oh my guys goodness, in there. little, are they called tchotchkes? Yeah, they're tchotchkes. What are, what's they're the? They're resin, I think. They don't look broken, his ear's broken, but they're okay. No reason to throw them out. They're made in China, but that's okay. Yeah. 
They're 100% oh. lead. Look at this little Easter collection. Man, I like the colors. Would you say that's fall colors? No, this is spring. I mean, spring Easter. colors. Spring. <laughs> yeah, spring, spring and fall. Okay, spring. you guys wait right there. We'll be back. Man, She's holding all her babies. what is going on with the middle. Easter stuff? That's awesome. Wow. It is shocking. Edie, it is shocking how much you, and believe it or not, we've seen more than this in this, in this dumpster before. I'm totally going to put a candle in this, even though it has a chip. Wouldn't oh, that be that'll cute be cute. A candle, just An Easter candle? Yeah, well, just, you know, I can put a yellow one or maybe pink. It'd be cute. That is cute. Easily do that. That'd be really adorable. It wouldn't touch any of these. Okay. I'm keeping that one. Somebody keep track of how many times you hear the word cute. Yep. <laughs> you know We're going to have a contest one day. Oh, wow. Speaking of St. Patrick's Day, here's the rest of the doodads. What's up, Thistle Gal? Hope everything's good in Michigan, the Wolverine State. I don't think they really, I, can't, I don't think it's called the Wolverine State. I think it's no. called the Great, no, is it Great Lakes? I don't know, but I know they have the Michigan Wolverines and the spartans okay. hey everybody everybody write cute in the uh <laughs> that's funny okay this might be beyond it i know some people could probably fix that but well my okay. goodness brenda bodwin sent us a link to a thing that said you can fix ceramic that are broken by putting in the milk <laughs> All the cutes are popping up. It's funny. Should we try it with this or is this? We'll just do that mug at home. This I think is too much. Try it. Look at how the chips are gone. What's the worst that could happen? Well, you could also do, you could also have this stuff broke up into pieces and make a, uh, put it in a concrete and make, yeah. what is that called? Like their mosaic. terrazzo mosaic or whatever. So keep this? We've been trying to not keep too many projects. Well, no, if you're saying you wanted to experiment with well, that. that that's the thing is, do I want this? once it's fixed with the chips and stuff and all those deviled eggs I make. Yeah. You know, um, I don't know. I think this one's going to stay. But I do have one we're going to do it on. It's a cup. There's a cup that we... Is it a cup or a so candle one. holder? Um, it's, a, it's a cup. It's like a oh, yeah. Remember there was a set of cups and one of them... That actually was in a liquidation thing. One of the cups, they had uh, Beethoven's oh. like music notes okay. for Beethoven and one of the handles was broke so she's going to... The handle's there, but it was broke. She's gonna try that, that fix. That's adorable, oops. That is, okay, you guys gotta admit, that one really is cute. That is cute. Come on now. Super cute. That deserves a cute. Oh, there's another one in here. Let's see how cute this is gonna Carol be. Carol is not going to write cute in the comments. Or Carol? No. Oh. It says Carol, she's not gonna write oh, it. Oh, Carol, okay. Don't hey, write Carol. It. And then look at this guy and try not to write it. Yeah, Carol. Don't write cute in the comments for that, Carol. How about adorable? These are adorable. Brazil. They did not need to go in the trash, I can tell you that. <laughs> okay. What's up, Thistle Gal? I think that's it in that one. It is. Fun. Let's check on this uh, side over here. This stuff, man, the big rugs and stuff. Oh, my goodness. That's a little too oh, much. Wow. Uh oh. Are they? What are they? Games for Windows PC. Don't know. Hi. <laughs> that lady slowed down. Was staring uh -huh. at us. She was looking at us with disgust. <laughs> what are you guys doing? I just threw that stuff in there. Oh, look at that. That's an wow. That is really nice. <laughs> It's a, it's a little chill. That's a really nice. Slow color. down and let, yeah, a little chill. That is really nice. That does not need to go in the trash, especially when the clothes bin is right there. It's going. Well, winter's coming again, so I don't know why they threw that in there. Yeah. By the way, like, like that. You see those? You can see the green top of that. That's a non-profit, not-for-profit donation bin, and they dump stuff right here all the time. Whoa! This is, this is a. Is that a plate pen? Yeah. And they got it in a bag, so That's it didn't even perfect. touch the dumpster. That's awesome. 
That really is. Yay, we're finding fun stuff. Man. Oh my goodness. There's a lot of stuff from, that people can use in here. This. Come on. What? Two of them. What the heck? Ooh, that one looks, it, I saw the green light and I thought it still had a charge. Wow. All right. Cool. They just, they just gave up. They gave up and just said, I'm throwing my whole house in here and starting over. What else is in here? Oh, we need another one of these. Because now oh, the kids were here. Oh, absolutely. Tell them what it is. It's for the mirror so you can see what the kids are doing in the back seat when they're yeah. facing forward. Yep. We, we have one. And we needed two. Yep. When the grandkids That's were funny. Here. We needed two and we got the other one for free. Yeah, those mirrors are kind of cool. Like, when you're driving, you you know, you just stare in your mirror into that one, and it's really distracting when you drive, but it's it's so much fun. <laughs> oh yeah, this this goes to the vacuum. Wow, what is? Why? Well, those. Why didn't they? I know, but why didn't they just go and? I don't know. Some people just maybe. Is it possible that people aren't aware that you could donate stuff? Is that even possible? No. You could actually just put an ad in the local apps and say, curb, curb pickup, get it now before I throw it in a dumpster. It's a billion little kids, or a billion hangers. Not a billion, but a bunch of hangers. You could donate those. Yeah. People use hangers. Wow. Man. This is quite a little haul. I, want, I know. And it makes you wonder what else is down there, huh? I know. I want to know what's in this box. It feels, oh, I it might it was just, heavy, it's, but it's, uh, it's yeah, empty. It's just wedged. What's down here? Hold on, don't let that dump out. Oh, this is just trash. Okay, that's not, okay, so it's not good. And this is, we know this is, um, that's just boxes. Okay. So, so they just laid their stuff on the top. These we could donate. Donate they're seat cushions. They don't seem like they're really beat up. They'd be able to, yeah. And you could repurpose those for your, like if you're short, you could set it in your car and you could, it'll raise you up. There's some more of these lucky charms. Me lucky charms. I'm joking about that, the cushions though. Oh. Steph said I have to start telling people when I'm joking. No, you don't because All it's right. constant. I get, <laughs> or they think I'm a sexist. No, oh my goodness. If I say anything about women, all I do is I just mention that, you know, like everybody knows a woman has a place. That's right. <laughs> we all know. Let's just take, grab the bag and donate okay. it. Because these are, we'll just take the whole bag. Oh, wait, what's on the bottom? What's that color? Oh, is, oh, is it just a garment? Dress. Oh, this bag down here is the clothes bag. Oh, okay. Here, let me move the. Let's see what kind of clothes they had. Let me, you get more in here, Steph. A lot, we'll donate all of this. We can, man, how many, they're gonna use up all our totes. Oh, okay. A bunch of clothes, that'll all get donated. Well, if we're going to donate, we'll just donate this too. Okay. What was that again? It went to like a suitcase. Ooh, look at this. Okay, guys, sorry about that. Okay. Hey, Steph, I'm gonna just watch from here for a minute. All right, apparently, this is what happens Usually in the summer, you have to bear with this noise right now. The um, phone overheated, didn't even know it. I looked down and it said emergency. So let's let it cool down a bit. I took it out of the case and there's Steph still digging away. Forgot all about that, but over the during, and it's not even that hot right now. So we gotta be more prepared. Usually in the summer, we'll bring a, um, We'll bring an ice pack and I'll put it on the back, but we didn't expect it today. It's kind of overcast and I guess it is a little warm, but Steph is still plugging along. I'll let it cool down a little bit and then I'll go back out there. But in the meantime, how's everybody doing? Man, that was weird. We haven't had that in a while. What's up, Michelle Lathan? Oh, the Beach Hut Deli. That's in uh, Maui. There yeah. Oh, we're down in San Diego by the airport. Yeah. I was telling them that's the one in Maui, but I guess it's a chain. The Beach Hut Deli. Yeah, Vicky, the phone overheated, but I'm cooling it off. What's up, Bianca? What's up, Mike's Mysteries from Pennsylvania? 
everybody's typing so fast. What's up, D. Cochran from Ohio? We might have to, uh, as she's doing this, I want to get the phone cooled down really good, and then uh, well, she's going to bring stuff and share with us. <laughs> another set of Legos. Another set of Legos? Thanks for sharing with us. Sure. Here, I'll start looking at it with them while you... Okay. You want to trade? I'm going to start. I'm going to pack this stuff up. Here. And come here. You do this, and I'll start loading up the, okay. the, the van. Is it staying cool I enough? I want you to do it in here. Okay, I'm coming in. Man, it already started. Darn it. Okay. I can't believe... I'm locked out. Okay. I can't believe... You don't, you don't have to put it directly on yet. Yeah. Because it did cool down. And you can show them some of this. Okay, I will. Man, this is a lot of Legos. I'll load, I'll load up. Okay. Um, that's Actually, crazy. You know All what? kinds of fun stuff. I'm going to pull up a little closer. I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to get myself to work. Okay. Really Hi, guys. Um, I'll back up to it. Oh, you found it in Oregon. You cannot remove anything from dumpsters. In the whole state? In recycled in dumpsters. Oh, okay, that makes sense. I mean... Basically, the recycling companies can make money. Actually, I read an article recently on uh, in uh, Maryland. Okay. Remind me to tell you guys about this article. Okay. It's let me back up. He's reparking. But rem so remind me that it's an article in and it's in Maryland. Okay. Baltimore, um, to be exact. Netherlands. Hello. Those balls go to the playpen. Oh, that makes sense. You know that big round one? Yeah. I'll, there's a bag I found that had a bunch of balls in it. The balls go in that. That totally makes it's sense. A, oh, for so the we, kid. Oh, like a like, like when you a go little to the play, play places. Place. That's cool. Thank you for letting us know. Make sure the sun's not hitting it. That's back. awesome. Okay. I'll put. Oh, we. I took the shade away. Here, I'll move this. Okay. Oh no. The volume went up. Okay. Oh, Steph, your hair looks on point. Oh, I just took it out of my curlers. That's why. It'll be flat in a little bit. Um, okay. I wanted to tell you guys about the worm shame. Oh, my gosh. We got worm shamed. Um, so many comments of people being upset about us with those worms that we donated, that we took them to that place to be bait and we didn't let them go. Ugh. Okay, I gotta tell you what happened. We had a long discussion about it, but it didn't make it in the video. Steve cut it out about what to do. Hey, uh, Ka, Kaworth, Kawartha girl, 99. Thank you very much. Hello from Ontario. Hello. Um, okay. Worm shame, the worm of shame. I know. Okay. Jerry's here. He's sleeping. I don't know if you can see him. What's in the way? Bag? He's there. He's sleeping. Okay, let me tell you what happened. We had a big conversation about it where um, the, I gotta roll up his window too. Sorry about that. Okay, so those worms, we had a conversation and what happened is I was said, okay, should we just let them go like out down the hill? Right behind there, there was a big dirt hill. And um, we talked about it and we decided we weren't going to do it because we had a snail issue in our last house, a serious snail issue. It was bad. And we realized we know nothing about nature. I and grab her too. Something went wrong with your communication. Okay. Um, oh, thank you for getting it. Okay. I'm telling about our worm shame uh. real quick. Okay. So <laughs> at our last house, our house was built on a, um, it was built, you're driving? I'm just going to get in the shade. Okay. It was built on an orange grove, a former orange grove. And it was a track houses that we all had there. And um, they were... They wiped out all of this orange grove. Orange grove and they built houses. Houses. So after we moved in, snail infestation. I mean, snails everywhere. I don't know if it had to do it with the orange, orange trees or what, but there were snails everywhere. So our neighbor, we didn't want to kill him and put because... We were going to we we're going to put stuff out but jerry was a puppy and he was eating anything at that age yeah. so uh the vet said if he eats those snails he'll get lyme disease he could get lyme disease so we were worried about the snails he was eating them sometimes <laughs> and um so we didn't want to put any pesticides or anything out there because he could eat those in the worms you know we didn't, didn't want to do it 
and our neighbor bought these little Africanized worms. They were yeah. tiny he little bought, guys. He bought them specifically for, not worms, uh, snails. snails. They were African snails. Yep, and they had um, like tiger stripes on them. They were really cute and they were way smaller. He said they were going to kill all the big snails. Yeah. So that was the plan. here's, oh, let me tell you about the snails real quick. Okay, we had a hot tub. And uh, the snails, I mean, they were everywhere, all over the house. There were snail trails everywhere. It was gross. But they got, they climbed, they were obsessed with their hot tub because there was water in there, I guess. Oh, so so bad. they were constantly going up the hot tub. And you know where the hot tub um, lid sits on top of it? The cover? They were crusted all over, all the way around it. Some would squeeze in, and the little ones would get in. So our hot tub was slimy, foamy, with boiling. It was gross. Snotty snail. It, it was, was it, sick. Was, it was like a horror movie. So like seriously, you would clean it up, and a day later, they would we be. We put copper around the bottom crazy. of the hot tub so they couldn't crawl up. They didn't care. They still did it. Yeah. It was it was bad. So anyway, so little Africanized snails. So they're going all over the place, and then there's like an Africanized snail infestation. There were snails <laughs> everywhere, we and we realized that we don't know enough about nature to yeah. just be putting these worms in an environment that they didn't they weren't in originally so we thought about putting them in our yard putting them in they had like a um, we talked did you tell them we talked, we did, about, we talked all about this it. steve just cut it out of the video yeah, we were we didn't know what to do we were just sitting there going we know that it's not right it doesn't feel right for those worms to die in that dumpster right but we, we didn't that. feel right about putting the worms because they had different types of worms they had canadian yep. worms they had different worms what if they started something you're making major noise oh, sorry. um crazy with with the worms like we what if our natural worms that are in our habitat are like we don't what know if these are ones that eat those worms or who knows whatever i know there weren't enough of them to do anything huge but we don't know enough to know anything so we just said okay they were intended as bait that's what they were caught for at least they can go as bait and have a chance that way and at least people eat fish it, that felt like what we needed to do so we got worm shamed and we're sorry and we didn't want to kill the worms. I, I'm not sorry. I, feel, I am. I, feel, I, feel, I didn't want to kill them. We talked about it. Yeah, but I, I look at it differently. I, I'm, the fact that it continues that cycle of life, you know, like the fish is going to eat it. I'm going to eat the fish. You know, I, 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 I didn't have a problem with that. I, I had a problem either. with, I thought it was a cruel thing having them in the dumpster. But somebody wrote just recently on a comment on that video and she works where they they have a it's like a worm farm i guess you know because that's big business and she said that if you put those a worm you know one or if one of those worms gets um i don't know if it's getting sick or whatever it starts to get like something on its skin and, and it starts to liquefy but when it starts to liquefy it gets if it gets around the other worms it spreads so i'm no expert just hearing that i was like well that could be bad yeah so there's a lot of I understand if somebody's thinking, well, that's ridiculous. You you save it from a dumpster and then a, you're going to let gonna a fish get it eat it. Stabbed I, I don't think that's a problem, though. I think for me, it's not a, I don't have a moral issue with having a fish, you know, eat that worm. I don't. Yeah. I have a moral issue with seeing something alive? In, a, in a container alive in a dumpster. I have a problem with that. Yeah. And, um, and it was a spur of the moment. We did what we. It felt right. Yeah, I, I we did discuss it, but it didn't make yeah. the video. <laughs> so, it's anyway. not science, it's biology. Hi, Bi yeah. Bigfoot. Isn't biology part of science, though? Isn't Just asking everything you. part of I science? I thought I taught you better than that, son. Isn't everything part of science? There's pretty much everything is part of science, even do, Legos. Do Bigfoots eat worms? Yeah, Bigfoots, they forage, <laughs> whatever. It depends on how hungry they are mm. and what the food source is like. Yeah. So, anyways. Worm shame. Sorry, everyone. We didn't mean to hurt in, everybody's feelings. In Baltimore, most oh. people were... Most yeah, they were fine, but some were, you know, so you committed, you took, saved them to die. Yeah, so that they'd get eaten Yes, by fish. we did, and we should have. Now I wish, if I'd hey, known you know more what? about worms, we could have put them Here's in a, also, something, a garden somewhere. We hey, would Raymond not. Do, Raymond Doolin, thank you very much. And Mom Rose. Hi. Hi, Mom Rose from Illinois. If thank you, Raymond. If the bake shop had said they didn't want them, we would have done something with them. We yeah, would have let we them go have... and given them a chance somewhere. Probably Somewhere near to, water. That was another thing too. Worms, you know, like on the worm show where they're the dirtiest jobs or whatever it was. Is that? Yeah, but there, there's different picking, worms. Though. I know. There's that's the thing. They need different environments. Some need salt water. Some need whatever. There we was don't a show that used to be on, and it was dirtiest jobs. Picking worms. And these guys were in like, like um, maybe Maine, 
but they would go to the ocean and all of a sudden the tide would go out and it'd be those are different worms yes they're different types, and they need so. specific environment and we're dry here in california i don't know i we don't know enough I about think them you've explained it enough okay. i think i we did I, our best i sleep well knowing that i didn't leave any live creatures in a dumpster and i sleep and with guilt knowing that i could have saved those worms and i should have but put them in a garden or something what would have if, happened? They, if nothing would have happened what would have happened i don't know the guy at the bait shop even said if they you know if they get slimy or whatever you know it's that's like the start of something bad and fortunately these guys still had life they still had something to offer but i just know i don't know enough about worms <laughs> me neither but yeah. i know i do know that i don't i felt wrong having worms in a dumpster yeah. i never never in my wildest dreams would i think that at a point in my life i would be like man this is wrong and, and have a feeling for worms. Another you know? thing that didn't make it in the video either was when I looked up the bait shop, I just typed in bait shop in our town, and um, I thought I knew where it was, and it was further away. But the, then when it started taking us there, it was in the parking lot of, of Five we Below, were where we were going. Yeah. It was there, it was, it was like it was meant be. to be. So, I don't know, I, it was were meant the to be. Were the worms related to? <laughs> the diarrhea snakes? snakes. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, maybe. Uh, I don't know. That was funny. Hey, so let me get back to this Baltimore, Maryland. They okay. have, um, somebody asked, hey, is it legal in Baltimore? And I said, I don't know. You'd have to check check the, Thanks, the towns within Baltimore also. You know, check, you have to look at the different ordinances. But I tried to look it up, and there was an article where the people that work at the landfill, okay, in, in Baltimore, they, there's a big thing going on. If you look this up, I'm sure you'll see it because it's a, it's a big scam they were doing. The employees, when metal, like scrapper stuff, would come in, they were taking this that stuff for themselves. Like they, they it got so bad that employees they'd have their trucks. They would do it during work, and they would basically the fights would break out over who got what. Wow. They were loading up their pickups, and there was there's instances. And now this I'm I don't know the details of this part, but there's apparently. If there was a, uh, at least one woman that was like, okay, if you know, like, I, I want some of this, and then she was intimidated. She brought it up too. She was like, hey, is this, is this okay? <laughs> and they, they intimidated her, you know, to where she was like, okay, I'm not getting involved in this. The police end up doing a sting operation. Oh, by the way, the city is supposed to be recycling that. It was at a, a landfill. Okay, it's getting wasted but they were supposed to be taking that stuff recycling it and that's money for the city yeah right they yeah it would help pay for the the jobs i mean all kinds of stuff it was a lot of money that we're talking about so they set up a sting operation and sure enough like they just had a truck go in and drop off a bunch of stuff and right afterwards these guys are Trick on picked. it they're trying to grab that and then a, they load the <clears> truck <throat> and they would even leave during work and go scrap it go scrap it Wow. But that, a guy loaded his truck, took off, and then they pulled him over. You know, obviously all the stuff was marked for their investigation. But, yeah. So, that... Can you imagine? Okay. The cops do the sting operation. And they have to mark all that as evidence. You have so, to. all the scrap has to go in some sort of evidence in that, yard. In that truck. Forever. Well, they, put, they put, like, copper and stuff like that. Yeah. They, they didn't put, like, you know, tons and tons of it. But isn't that interesting? Machines. That's, that's crazy yeah it's all right for them hey, so i'm Abby. curious if the if the city has an ordinance if that city has an ordinance against doing that like just the general public you know going out and trying to make an extra buck and 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 help keep stuff out of the landfill <clears throat> what would happen to them these employees doing it on the clock and stealing they're stealing from the citizens there because that was part of that was supposed to be money they were generating for the city yeah fascinating interesting double standard well, hello, Fraser. What's up, Fraser? How are you doing? Okay, thanks, Birdland. I was waiting for a response, like he was going to respond. He did. He said hi. That's Fraser. Hey, Steve. Leanne, hey, Seven. Leanne's, mo Leanne's son. Yeah. How cute. Um, yes. Yeah, people were asking about Jerry. He's here. He's, He's just snoring out. away. He has crashed out. Oh, What's up, Mark guy. Gregory? He's Only so say cute. hi to friends. What does that mean, Mark? Are you saying that we only say hi to friends? Come on, man. We have to say hi to friends. Come on, Mark. All of you guys are our friends. Well, first off. We just don't know all of you yet. We should, we should put a mirror up some point and show you guys this. I can show you. So that, okay. You can see what we're dealing with here. Here, Mark. 
I need to. Uh, We're gonna give on. you a, give you a view of what. Okay, this, this is, is what we. Oh. Let me. I gotta see it. Okay, this is what what it looks like with me holding it. Hold on. I. You look at it from this. Turn your thing around, and you'll be able to see what you're seeing. I can't turn it around. No, your view. They Where need you're looking the screen from there? to see what they're seeing. Oh. <laughs> I was trying, I thought you were showing get, my screen. I am. I'm trying, okay, so, but it's not working. I don't know how to do it. I'm not skilled at it. You don't need a finger on there. Let me see. Well, I was going to show them how we stop it. Can I zoom? I don't know. No. Okay. Whatever. Anyways, you can see, we trust can see me. We three lines at once and it goes Trust fast. me. We have to stop the chat to even... Scroll up to see anything. Yeah. And then when it's going, it's going like right now I'm trying to catch up and it's just endless. So... If we Sorry, don't guys. read your comment, it's nothing it's never personal, guys. <laughs> no. Never intentional. And most of the time, our feet What's up, are Amy? up Amy, in the air and we're in a dumpster, so we can't see those either. <laughs> What's up, so. Deborah Mayers? Uh, Mark, I didn't see you say hi about, back to me. If your name is hard to read, you, it man. helps too. Like Mochi's. Yeah, it does. Mocha, Mocha Kissed 2017. <laughs> too hard to see so it kind of passes hard if it's long if you have a long yeah, name if it it's does, hard for us to understand yeah. that it's hard for us to stutter over and say and so they see, get past and, too yeah so it's it's never intentional i know never it's intentional against bigfoot we try not to no say hi to way. bigfoot we love our bigfoot that's our What's son up, karen howell from new york cindy stonebarger see we're like when i'm doing this right here now it's backing up and then all of a sudden it'll shoot really yeah. really far so anyway again so we don't those are our stories oh there's brenda Oh, hi, Brenda. Brenda Bowden. Brenda, hi. We just talked about you, Brenda. What yeah. was it about? You were saying Brenda, I think, was telling you how to... Oh, to, to do, do that the, milk. Um, to put the, the milk, milk yeah. in... I'm going to experiment with it. I still haven't tried it, but we have a, a mug. So Mr. Morales. Supposedly with ceramic. You can heal your ceramic pieces that are broken by taping them together, Sarah stick them in a bowl Rome. of milk, and let them sit overnight. I'll see if it works. Deborah Richards? Because I've got a mug handle I need to put on. Is that... Laurel, how do you say that name? Where? Lorelai. Oh, that's pretty. Hi, Lorelai. Magnetism. You gotta love that. That's a cool last name, mm -hmm. Lorelai Magnetism. Speaking Is that of really your last name? Magnetism. We haven't done Hi, the eyelashes Jocelyn. yet. Hi. We we. I just... sanitized them, but one of them is broken. Like one of the Pronounced eyelash, the Aliza. top of the bottom, is broken in What's half. What's up, Aliza? So, uh, it will only be able to do one eye on Steve, <laughs> but What's we up, are gonna Ray? do it. Uh huh. We're going to do it. Man, we've had a long few days lately, oh. but... Um, Family in town, and then my parents are coming to town. Uh, kids just dropped off last night. Jerry. Grandkids. And then Maria my parents Esther. are coming to town. Maria Esther Sefuentes Chambles. That's okay. pretty good of me. That was very good. Saludos! So we're going to save all this stuff. We're going to go probably drop we're gonna off donate some and donate right now. We're going to donate quite a bit of that right away. Because we and, need uh, And then we'll um, continue with our day. Just I'm hit the so... Blue I'm so surprised that heat really snuck up. It's it's not like real hot, but it just reminded us we have to bring our little. We'll show you guys that, that haven't blocks. seen it before, the little ice packs. And Steph put this, made these little straps that we could hook it onto the phone. So oh, I guess it's crack. that time of the year again. Hey, bum crack! Seven told us that Sam Dallas invented the mug handle. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. That's funny. Well, I haven't seen Sam. In, we saw him recently, but we hadn't seen him in a while, so that was Ow. fun. Um. Denmark. Anyway, thank you guys for joining us Hi, on our little Hannah? treasure hunt. Hannah? Yeah. H A N N E. Oh, my phone's flashing. Hey, um, let's say hi to hi everyone. Hi everyone. <laughs> we really do appreciate you guys, we and we would love to be able to say hi to each and every one of you. It's oh, very here. Difficult. Let's show these too. And then Natalie. Thanks, Natalie. I love dumpster diving, and I love my new shirt. The shirts brought us luck. They did. Natalie, you did it. <laughs> Natalie. Thank Thanks, you for the Natalie. shirt. You just brought us Hi, luck. Hi, Bianca. Hi, guys. Bianca's in Germany. I know. She has a YouTube channel, too. Check it out. Yes. She's very pretty and sweet. And yeah, just a she sweet is. Guy. She is a really sweet person. I think I don't know if she has more than one video, but I've seen one, one video. She's super, <laughs> just so we can super, see who she super, is. super nice. Yep. Okay. All right, Thanks, guys. you guys, for joining we us. Gotta get we back really on the appreciate road. it. Again, you might see us again on another channel. Nothing later. personal if we didn't say hi. We really appreciate you guys. And now, here's a hi to everybody. But more important than all that, we will definitely give treats, Aaron. Thank you very much to little Jerry He's when awake. he wakes up. What's doing real oh. fast? Let's oh, he just, he just popped his eyes open. All right, dude. He heard it's you guys. It's your lucky day, Jerry. He's like, hey, you're talking to people from around the world. It means that the noggle's <laughs> in the way. I might get a treat. 
Here. There you go, buddy. Okay, Jerry. This is for you. Good boy. Aww. They Good love boy. you, buddy. You're the best dog in the world. The whole world. Hey, you guys. There's a lesson to learn from Jerry. Okay. Because he does it every day. What is it? He enjoys his life. He so does. You, you guys should too. Let's all enjoy our life. Okay. EYL, everyone. Bye, guys. Bye-bye.